We had Melody Festival in 2023, Heat 4 in Malmö, the legendary Eurovision stage of 2013. And with me now are two ladies that are competing in this contest. It's Signa and Jordis. Is that yeah, the right that's way to say close. it? That's, that's, that's right. Close. Nice to meet you. And I understand you're sisters, actually. Yes. We are. I'm 16 and she's 19. So what does it mean for you as young people like you are to be on that huge stage? Honestly, it feels a bit unreal, of course, uh, for me at least, um, and super duper fun in every way and exciting. Yeah, same for me. It feels like I'm I'm not the youngest here even. Kiana is the youngest. She's only she's like a year younger than me. So for her, it must feel like more, even more exciting. Are you not getting nervous going in front of so many live audience in this arena? Actually not today, uh, or any time we've been on the stage, I think. Uh, it, we just felt really like hyped before and picked by the, uh, by the audience mm -hmm. being here. Yeah, I think I, I'm more like hyped than nervous. Mm. Okay, nice. Now the song is called Edelweiss. Uh, can you, I know it's a plant from uh, the Alps. Yeah. So can you tell us what is the story in, in the song you're performing of Edelweiss? Yes, the, the flower Edelweiss um, represents and symbolizes strength and loyalty and deep love. Um, and the song is about that. Mm -hmm. um, and we're trying to bring forward that to the audience and to everyone watching. Uh, the lyrics also like correlate to like nature and nature's meaning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, now give a give a plug to the songwriters that wrote the song for you and and how did the choice fall on you to sing the song? I actually don't know. We we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a coincidence. Uh, I think they like saw us on Facebook or something, and they contacted us. Um, and then we just tried out the song and it worked. Okay. And it was Anders Vretov, Jimmy Janssen and Mira Renwerk. Yeah? Good on, Barry. Yes. Wow, I'm trying my Swedish there. Yeah, very, very good. And, and uh, would you do Melody Festival in again as a, after this experience here? We haven't like done it yet, uh, like all the way. So I, after like, this evening, I feel like definitely again. Yeah, yeah. It was just such a like such a fun experience. Yeah. Now, now you have one of the youngest performers in this contest, together with Kiana. And uh, what were your first memories of Melody Festival in itself? Uh, my first was Eric Sade, uh, Man Boy. Yeah. Yeah, and mine wasn't from Melody Festival, maybe, but uh, Fairy Tale with Alexander. That's your vision. That was yeah. my next question. So uh, your, your, your vision. Oh, sorry, sorry. You gotta go as well. No problem. It's okay. It's fine for you. Your vision. Uh, oh. Uh, like earliest or favorite? Um, the, the, your your favorite. favorite. My favorite, definitely uh, Amar Pelodua with uh, Salvador Sobral. I love that song. 20, I love 2017. That. I love it. 21. Wow, fantastic. Well, how will you prepare yourself for tomorrow? Is there a special ritual you do before you go on stage? And what do you do during the day just to prepare? I think we'll just try to have a good night's sleep. Yeah. Uh, and then like have some fun. Rehearse the song, mm -hmm. eat some good food, <laughs> and get up our energy for yeah. get so the actual pump. show. Excellent. Ladies, thank you so much for talking to us. All the best of luck, Luca Till, for thank tomorrow, you. and make that way into the semi final or the grand final. Yes. <laughs> what would be your preferred uh, step to do? Via the semi or directly into the final? Uh, I think semi would be so fun. Yeah. Or final. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you.